Hey guys, some scales here. Today I'm just making a quick guide on how I beat the full grown falling star beast pretty easily. I kind of figured out the strategy on the fly and I haven't seen it anywhere else so I thought I'd bring it up here. Um, I think I've cracked this boss fight. You know, I don't know if this is especially supposed to be the intended strategy but I walked into this thing at twice the recommended level. I think I was 105 by the time I thought, fought this guy. Um, plus 16 sword, straight sword. And he still was proving just too crazily difficult to do via conventional melee. So what I did was I got my horse and what you can pretty much do if, you know, you, you can use magic attacks if you have those. I'm not a magic build guy so I'm just using bow and arrow and I also have a uh, crossbow with bolts um, so if you stack up on those what you can do is you can hop on your horse keep your distance and you'll see here he's doing like this charge attack he charges roughly three times what you can do is you can kind of ride away from him and in my experience he seems to just stop and cool down maybe after his charge at which point you can see I'm switching my gear here because I realize what's going on now um, I switched my crossbow and you're actually able to just you know, ping him down slowly but surely because for some reason he doesn't move after that charge attack. Uh, also worth noting, eventually of course he will slowly start to move toward you after you do enough damage. Um, or in this case he just starts another charge. Um, that's fine. Um, if he charges again, just keep your distance, wait till he finishes and he'll stop again. You can keep pinging him with damage. You can get pretty close to him early on here I'm pretty far away because I, I don't want to trigger him, but you can see I'm testing the waters a little bit by getting a bit closer. What you can do is you can get pretty close and he won't do anything. Even if he slowly starts to move toward you, you'll notice that he has white, a white area on his um, face and also on his backside. But as he's moving toward you, what you can do is you can just aim at the face and the white area actually receives more damage if you can hit that. So. That's pretty much the strategy. You keep your distance, wait till he charges and stops for a cooldown, and just keep doing what you're seeing on screen. Um, only other thing to mention: he has a phase two where he does this like big laser attack. You can pretty much avoid that pretty easily on the horse. That's just basic dodging; shouldn't be too much trouble. If you manage to get him in the crater when he does it, then he'll probably just end up blasting into the terrain itself, so it's not too much trouble. The only other thing is that um, if you want an alternate way to get damage he does the gravity attack so he raises his head to do a minor gravity attack on your position, visit it again and then does a third major wide AOE gravity attack. So it's like a, a, it's like a charge attack, there's three spots to it. He'll do this gravity attack from afar. What you can do is you can kind of bait the third wider attack. You can actually run in, get maybe two, three swipes on him, run away. Um, and yeah, that's another way you can do damage. The only other thing I'd mention is that uh, the only other attack which might cause you some hassle, he will pinch together his jaws, I guess, and dig them into the ground and then throw boulders at you. Again, you know, you've played this game long enough, you know how to dodge stuff. Um, just keep an eye out for it. Anyway, I thought I'd mention that Long story short, the, the strat is just to stay on your horse. You can see what I'm doing here, riding away. You're mostly going to use your ranged attacks, and you're really only using your melee stuff for when you can bait out the gravity attack. Anyway, I've rambled long enough. Good luck with the fight. This is the easiest way i found to do it. Um, a lot easier than relying on melee only, and it's not exclusive uh, in terms of the cheese to magic users. So, have fun. Good luck getting over them and let me know if this helps you out.